Morning folks, Brian here, Geomagnetic Earth Watch, Sunday, June 1, 2025. Just two things to cover here. Sometimes yet yesterday there was a sudden release of sulfur dioxide. So this is current time now. Unfortunately, I can only go back to midnight. I can't go back to yesterday. So this was midnight. So this would originated from one of two places. You folks in New Zealand can tell me if it was White Island or not, or quite possibly because of the earthquake swarms in the Kermadec Trench Island regions here. There are a number of um, mid-level earthquakes, 6.5. several of them so our sulfur dioxide so let's go check our winds uh, so this was for yesterday so our sulfur dioxide right now it's right about here let me double check that So it is approximately here. So the question is, and this is yesterday's winds, uh, day before. So the question is, was there a, a sudden eruption at uh, White Island or do we have a submarine uh, eruption where the earthquake swarms were in the Kermadec Trench? Which would be right about here and into the winds down to here. Question. So this was uh, midnight. And like I said, I can't go back uh, to yesterday on uh, this app. I find this one curious. Next. No, okay, well, first let's quickly check the southern hemisphere jet streams. Okay, North America. Up and down, up and down, and all around. One thing that's getting my attention is possibly a sudden stratospheric warming event, which is characterized by a reversal of the jet streams. Sudden warming event up in the uh, stratosphere, which compresses and forces the cold air down, as in right here. However, SSWs, sudden stratospheric warmer events, do not happen in June. It's a winter event. Surface impacts can be delayed by weeks can be. Like I said, uh, SSWs do not, do not happen in the summertime. We'll check back later and see if this is one as well.
Yeah. See, it pushes the, uh, the colder polar air down at the lower elevation altitude and then into uh, lower latitudes. Before I leave you, uh, let's check our space weather conditions. So the wind speed is at 878 kilometers per second. It is slowly dying down. Our HP index, again, 30 minute measurements are winding down. It does not mean it's the end of it. There was more than one uh, CME launched from that region. We're still in the stream of the uh, faster solar winds. Now our proton elevation levels have come back down, but now they're rising again. So we've had a period of nine hours. Uh, this is a three hour measurement. So we have nine hours of elevated geomagnetic instability, irritation, solar storms. So we are on a uh, earthquake and volcanic eruption watch. Starting anywhere from uh, 12 to 72 hours. And again, that can be uh, Oh, which map can I use? So it started I believe it started in this region here and then it worked its way across India, Saudi Arabia. A higher probability of an earthquake in this region than anywhere else, but it can happen anywhere. Okay. Eight hundred and ninety two kilometers per second. That is all.